Yes, brothers and sisters. First of all, I want to give a massive congratulations to Jared Warren and his team, you know, for their victory last night. Uh, you know, he done the business. What am I going to say? You know, he smashed us to bits. Now, there was, you know, some major issues this week, you know, none of which I'm going to mention because I don't want to take anything away from Jared Warren's victory, you know, and I, I refuse to make excuses and I give him all the credit in the world. You know, uh, I wasn't myself. You know, these things happen. And, uh, you know, I apologise to the BKFC for my post-fight conduct as well. Passions are high, you know, and as a, a fighting man, you know, I, I want to continue. You know, you want to keep going. And to be knocked out cold, I think, would be much easier to accept. You know, but these things happen. This is the fight game, you know, it's unforgiving. It's, um, yeah, it can be incredibly painful on your emotions. But like I say, I, I feel blessed, you know, and when, and when I look back at the fight this morning, yeah, I had a different opinion. I looked back at this morning and I thought, yeah, maybe if I was the referee, perhaps I would have stopped it as well. You know, I'm known for my durability and my chin. I've been known <laughs> for taking heavy punches and ever since I started boxing at 11. You know, I've fought all my life. I've been in a lot of wars and... 38 years old, it might sound like 38 years old, but when, you, when you're when you talking about my mileage and a lot of the wars that I've been in, you know, it's probably more like 50. You know, I did feel a mile behind in that fight. And, um, you know, like I say, th these things happen. These things happen. I want to... Uh, I want to wish a happy birthday to Jared Warren as well. See, after speaking to him uh, in the hotel a number of times, you know, my opinion of him is that he's, he's a gentleman and he's a professional. You know, an, an incredibly nice man. You know, so I wish him all the very best. And I'm a fan. You know, I will be supporting him going forward. You know, any call-outs that I made to Mike Perry and Lorenzo Hunt, you know, I retract those call-outs because, you know, my name doesn't really belong in the same sentence as those fighters at the moment. So, you know, and saying that, you know, Lorenzo Hunt and Mike Perry are two of my bare knuckle heroes, you know, and I'll continue to support them. And I wish them all the very best. You know, it's time to have some a break. I'm going to have some time off and think about what's next. You know, I need to have a long, hard think about how things are going to be from now on because I, um, you know, I made a promise to myself at the start, I start this bare knuckle journey and it was... If I ever got murked, then I should walk away. You know, that was the promise that I made myself. And I extended that promise to, to Alice and to my kids. You know, I said, if I ever get murked, I'm going to walk away. Being a combat sports fan all my life, you know, I've seen so many of my favourite fighters stick around in the game for far too long. You know, and it's sad. It really is sad to see that, you know. And it was put so beautifully to me this morning by Alice that, you know, my my happiness, my success, you know, my uh, my achievements, if you like, you know, wasn't solely rested on this fight, you know, and um, it's all about perception, you know, it's how you look at it, you know, I've got to be incredibly grateful for the journey I've been on, you know, for, uh, for what I've overcame and to be headlining two shows for the BKFC is just massive, you know, it's absolutely massive and, you know, I'm honoured and I'm privileged and I'm, and I'm proud, really, you know, but... Like I say, these things happen. You know, I might come again, I might not. You know, it's it's time for some uh, for some family time for a break, and um, a massive thank you to everybody that come down and supported me. Everyone that shows love, you know, and and a big shout out to the haters as well. You know, no doubt they'll be coming out the woodwork, and all the losers and non-achievers are likely going to have plenty to say. You know, well, fair play to them. You know, fair play to them. God bless them, and you know they can crack on. But you know, I'll probably be taking a week off work to recover, sit and lick my wounds. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, this is the fight game. You know, it's cruel. You know, it's incredibly cruel. And it's not a nice feeling at all, you know. But we'll just have to see how it goes. You know, I'm I'm, I'm better than I thought I would be. You know, I've took it for what it was. You know, the better man won. No two ways about it. The better man won. And, you know, I can only sort of relate my conduct to probably a mixture of embarrassment and pride and
the realisation that I'd just been floored three times and stopped in the first round isn't really where any fighter wants to be. So, you know, it is what it is. And that's, that's all I've got to say right now. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye for now.